Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. You guys just saw me throw my helium hotspots into the garbage and just to let you all know, they're actually not gonna be garbage. I just did that as a as a little funny prank in the beginning here. Oh, wait, I think I broke my antenna, but that's okay. All right, so guys, this video, I just wanted to explain my helium hotspots, you know, just give you guys an update of, uh, I guess, how much I'm earning and uh, my plans for these and just just talking about helium as a whole and just what information I've understood as of right now in case some of you guys haven't heard of any helium updates uh, depending on those that have actually gotten their hotspots or not if you really cared for what's been happening on the helium network so yeah I just wanted to talk with you all about all that stuff so before we do that this video is sponsored by Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. All right, guys. So, just to update you all, I have a Helium Original hotspot and I also have a Rack v2 these are the only two hotspots that i have personally and i've had these on now for the past uh i don't know a while now recently i have been seeing on my helium app that these have been earning about what five to twenty cents a day okay combined for both of these and i think after electrical costs on running these two which is very minimal talking about what 10 to 15 watts i believe for each of these is really nothing so I think what I'm earning right now, even if it's 20 cents or 30 cents or something, is still profitable in a sense. So I can't really knock helium in terms of that. And plus, I didn't have these in an optimal position, op optimal spot, right? They were inside, not even at the window. It's because I, I didn't really care. And uh, so actually my plan is, okay, for those that know that I'm gonna be going to a new mining location, I, I'm keeping my basement here but in my new house where I do have a lot of high trees, like 80 foot to 120 foot trees. And so I'm wanting to do is take my helium original and uh, yeah, I think I just broke, yeah, I think I just broke the antenna here <laughs> while I threw it in the garbage. Uh, that's okay. I'm wanting to get an external antenna, okay? And hook it up to the original one and have this uh, somewhere in my house and then get a long cord or a long antenna uh, cable to go outside on top of a tree somehow. I think uh, that might be a fun video that I'll do in the future. Obviously that's not going to come soon uh, until I move to my new place and uh, transition over there and uh, I don't know how I'm going to climb up a tree or probably have to get a faller to do, to do that probably. Yeah that's going to be fun. So if you guys have information about that let me know or let me know what type of antenna to put on top of a tree. I think that would be pretty funny. And then my other one here is the Rack V2. I'm most likely, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway on this on my Red Panda Mining Live channel. So um, uh, you guys know I'm actually giving away a whole bunch of GPUs, or I have been, uh, I've been pretty busy so I haven't done a live stream recently, but uh, yeah, I've been giving away GPUs. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway on that potentially. We'll figure out how that's gonna work. But I just wanted to have a little discussion here with you all regarding Helium. You guys know that I have made some controversial videos in the past, uh, especially regarding, not, not about like, I guess Helium itself, but it's the, I guess the resellers or distributors and just the hotspot creators or makers that, you know, everyone and their dog was buying these last year. And lo and behold, you know, the backlog and the shipment delays and, you know, the refunds or no refunds from some companies that were selling the helium hotspots, you know, there was a lot of drama that came with it and a lot of, I would say, noise in the ecosystem. And it was something that for me personally, I was pretty much 
in the middle of it. And I simply made a video called, please cancel your Helium Hotspot order, pre-order or whatever, try to get your money back. And in that video, I, yeah, you guys really resonated with that video because a lot of you pre-ordered one of these and you still haven't received it. Or yeah, we're able to at least get a refund. Thank God. I mean, but there were, there were, I think there were some companies that didn't issue a refund and they got sued or something. There was a class action lawsuit about that. And yeah, it was just a, it was just a S show, right? It, it's so many, so much drama regarding, you know, the helium hotspots and all that kind of stuff. And now that there's almost, I think almost a million of the HNT miners on the network now for, I guess, coming soon, which is going to be the IOT network, I believe. And then they have the 5G network, which is gonna be for, I think the mobile, mobile tokens. And so yeah, almost a million. I think 950,000 of these are on the network. And then on the 5G network, there's, it's about almost what, 5,000 or 6,000 of those 5G hotspots. And I just wanna have a disclaimer with all of you that I am not gonna participate in the 5G, you know, the whole new 5G network or anything like that because I've been approached by many Many companies, business, businesses, resellers, uh, distributors, what have you, regarding the 5G hotspots. And they wanted to send me one for review. And I have told all of them, no, I am not going to participate in the 5G. All right. I just want to let you guys know that, you know, it's because I just don't want to be involved in any more helium or HNT drama of people buying these and, you know, nobody's getting them, logistical issues, whatever, pandemic, uh, silicon shortage, whatever the issue is, whatever excuse that all these companies that were give that they were giving because of these guys in the past year, I just don't want that to happen again with the 5G. Uh, the 5G models and I don't think anyone should invest in a 5G mobile hotspot which I think costs what a couple thousand dollars and yeah I mean like it's it's expensive man and personally with the way that Helium it seems like they're you know they're also moving to Solana I'm not a developer so I can't really give my my thoughts on it other than Solana seems like it always goes down but yeah I, I can't really give my opinion on that other than it sounds pretty bad and pretty funny that they want to move to Solana Network. I mean, this video, I don't even know what I'm trying to accomplish here other than just giving you guys an update about these two hotspots that I have. I guess talking about the politics of what's been going on with Helium so far, which to be honest, there's there seems to be like a lot of FUD going out around on the internet regarding Helium versus uh, like there was a Forbes article and talking about like, uh, what's his name? The CEO's wife was able to mine about what? 25 million dollars worth of HNT or something and apparently they sold it or something I, I don't I really didn't read the whole thing personally when it comes to like startups or new coins and especially with like GPU mining right where anyone that gets in early you know you're obviously you're taking that risk right and so anybody that got in early for mining helium I mean they probably did really well but that goes with really any other coin that has uh, like a proof of work coin, for example, that you could mine millions of the coin and you know, if the price appreciated, then you made a lot of money. So in that case, the same situation happened with Helium and for those that were able to, you know, the first couple months or the first six months, I don't know, year or something that, you know, a single hotspot was able to mine thousands and thousands of HNT a day. And you know, gradually as time went on, it was then, you know, maybe a couple thousand a month and you know that was obviously still amazing but then as time goes on right a lot of these hotspots came on the network i'm not trying to defend helium in that regard i personally haven't really read all these articles fully to understand if you know the information is legit or anything like that i also understand like the market right now the way it is everything's down and as bitcoin goes down the whole market comes down brings all the other coins down with it personally that's where i really have the issue with the companies that were taking pre-orders and some of the companies that never returned the money for those that wanted a refund you know that's where i had issues okay that's where i had issues with all of these companies that were resellers distributors that were selling these and it was just such a cluster of people i think i read somewhere like the pre-orders were almost like four million hotspots but you can see on the explore map right now there's only about 950,000 to almost a million 
of these hotspots on the network right now. So to hear the concerns and the toxicity of just everybody regarding the dr and the drama from potentially the other three million other hotspot owners that didn't get it, of course, we're all gonna hear that. And obviously that leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth, especially, especially the project that, you know, everyone was going to host, you know, one of these long-fi hotspots on the network. Anyways, I don't know what I was going for in this video other than just giving you guys an update here on my Helium hotspots. Uh, they're gonna be off for now. And actually, you know, I may plug, uh, no, yeah, I may plug this one back in. I just did the beginning video of putting in the trash just for fun. But uh, this Helium original, like I said, I'm gonna bring this to my new location and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a, I think it's a minus eight dB antenna, like a big one. And uh, I need a, probably a really long cable to hook it up on top of a tree. Uh, to, to, to the tree, to the very top somehow. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty funny video and uh, I'm sure once this thing goes up much higher, then I could earn much more, right? As everyone says, you know, depending on how high you have your hotspot or location, right? Location is everything regarding the earnings, especially for these h and uh, hotspots. That's, that's the biggest thing, right? So any of you that are watching my videos right now, do you guys still have your helium hotspots on right now? Let me know down below. Let me know. All right. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out. I'm gonna make the thumbnail.